Hello everyone, this is Victoria Julie Ragbeer and welcome to my channel. So today is a very special day. Not only is it Valentine's Day, and I guess you can call it Galentine's Day or Palentine's Day, but for me, it's Rejected Day. And happy Rejected Day to those who haven't found love yet or who have been rejected on a date or anything like that. So it's been five years of Rejected. Cue this big ass balloon like this is like the world biggest balloon like ever so for this rejected day um i know it's late and there's only two hours left but hey the day's still going and and it's rejected week two and rejected a month if you if you want to get really more pacific with it but i just wanted to do some reflecting i wanted to bring it back rejected is a song about writing a letter to someone and not hearing anything and just realizing you got rejected and and it says it itself in the song I like the guy just too much that I had to write him a letter and the thing is I did write him a letter and it's a letter that I want to read to you today for the fifth year anniversary I feel like there's a lot of reflecting I can do considering it was so long ago I was 19 when rejected it got released so let's get to it um ipad's like on the floor so one sec okay i got my ipad okay so for the sake of the letter i'm censoring a little bit censoring his name and censoring some other stuff we'll go later on okay so i'm just gonna call him ryan for you guys okay so it says here hi ryan i'm victoria well julie as you may know me I have something to say, and I'm better saying it in words on pieces of paper than actually saying it in person. So here it goes. I like you. As a person and in a quixotic way, I think you're sweet and rather kind, and I know you don't see me in that light, but I must admit my liking towards you instead of keeping it within. See you around the hallway, and I hope you have a wonderful day. The girl downstairs. Victoria Rackbeer, a.k.a. Julie, what an E. And then there's this PSS at the bottom. Just in case you may have something to say regarding this, parentheses, which I doubt, but just in case, the in case underlined, here's a number to reach by text. Yeah, I'm not telling you my number. This is my old number, but still not telling you. But, um, and then it ends with good day. Okay, so wow, that was like a lot of information to get in. So let's get into it, right? Okay. So honestly, mad respect to my younger self for being bold enough to, even though I didn't say how I felt in person, I was bold enough to leave a paper trail for him to read. And it's actually a funny story. I kind of, I kind of didn't want to say it, but the person who helped produce Rejected, he... He kind of like, you know, nudged me to like do it and I wasn't sure because I was supposed to, I was going to put it, when I sing in the lyrics, put it in his stuff, I was actually putting it in his mail like and usually we have their mail in the stairs. So I was going to put it in the middle of it and I, I, I felt scared. I didn't really want to, but I did and honestly, it's for the better I did because I feel like there's so much more positives than negatives because if it wasn't for the letter this song would have happened rejected it wouldn't have like it would have been my debut single it it was the start of something new and even though it was a bad experience i still i still i still was brave enough to talk about it so yeah so what i really love is that i use this word um quixotic and it was a word I was trying to use because I didn't want to say like I wanted to make it mysterious you know and actually this is gonna sound bad but I forgot what quixotic meant means so let me just search it real quick oh okay okay it, quixotic means exceedingly idealistic unrealistic and impractical well I got that one for sure right I did like and like really like close to like loving him very unrealistically and impractically and such and 
and such like that so i think quixotic was a really good word for me to use i was like looking i was googling for like synonyms to see which word would fit like which would fit best for it but um yeah i mean i know that there's a line in this letter that says i know you don't see me in that light but i must admit my liking towards you instead of keeping it within i guess to one point of view it could be like oh if you know he doesn't see you in that way then why admit it i just feel like at the time it was it was important to just let him know even if nothing happened I guess maybe I was hoping the small chance that something would happen so I was hoping that I don't know I just feel like sometimes especially when it comes to love you have to take oh my gosh I'm getting tongue-tied but yeah when it comes to love you have to take chances and you're gonna get rejected probably most of the time but there will be that person that says yes I am still waiting for my yes but yeah but um I do like how I ended it on a nice note. See you on the hallway. Hope you have a wonderful day. And yeah, I think it was, I think this is like the most purest letter ever. I think I shot, I shoot, I shot my shot and I miss. But um, hey, I, I, I mean, you gotta give myself credit for um, trying. But at the time I, I was, I was 19, but funny story one time I saw his sister and she asked me how old I was and I said I was 19 and she was like really shocked like I can't believe you're 19 and I was like oh, and then I told the person who produced rejected and I was like oh my gosh what if he told her about the letter and that's why she asked my age I don't know like I was just having all these like conspiracy theories and whatnot but I mean who knows I mean time time has a way of just like i don't know i don't know what, what i'm trying to go with that but anyways um yeah i really did like him to the point where to the point where i did love him and um i know love is a strong word and you're like how can you love someone but like after rejected there was a lot of stuff that happened after it that wasn't talked about and it hasn't been mentioned in my music yet which it will soon but um yeah a lot of things happened after it like this was i guess like this was a bit immature of me or, or whatever but i i didn't really have a voice back then and i'm still like working on having a voice now because i just find it so hard to speak for myself and i feel like now at 24 years old i'm starting to realize i do have a voice and i can speak for myself and at the time i didn't really realize that i was more like you know i was getting peer pressured and stuff like that i feel like i was i didn't have that confidence i do now so i am grateful that i have grown a lot and gained wisdom and yes i'll admit gained some weight but you know what i'm 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 happy for it because i have a better mindset i'm my mental health is well i feel very healthy and i feel like that's all you can ask for to have good good health and just be in a positive mindset and i feel like that's where i'm at right now so so that's all but yeah i just think it was really bold that i said that hey just in case here's my number but nothing happened and when i saw him like a few months after it just because like we were neighbors and it was just funny because like when i saw him he was he was doing his best not to make eye contact very very serious like like it just made me realize like yeah he read the letter but he never addressed it and i feel the fact that he didn't address it left me wondering and like getting left wondering is an awful feeling because you're always wondering like oh if this happened we could have been this or whatnot but we didn't get to happen just like how regina Durr says you, you didn't make fetch happen or something like that like like fetch is not gonna happen there we go and uh, like me and him was never gonna happen no matter how much i tried or how much i just chemistry and i guess we didn't have it and it was just one-sided and unrequited love and i'm known for having unrequited love so there's that but that's the letter and i hope you enjoyed my whatever this was just trying to explain it and happy five years of rejected and the 
the remix should be on Spotify soon, so I am going to put the links for that in the description box. But for now, listen to Rejected. It's on Spotify, it's on Apple Music, and and honestly, I guess like this was really fun looking back and looking back on those memories, but um yeah, Rejected was definitely the start of my music career. So I know sometimes I would think, oh, maybe this song's a bit immature and corny. And, and maybe it's not my best lyrically songs because it's, maybe it's generic or it's not as lyrically strong as some of my other songs. But this song was a good, funny, playful start of my music career. And I'll, I'll always be grateful for that because, because Rejected made me realize like, like this is like a Valentine's Day kind of thing like it's I'm sorry for saying like and um a lot I'm just still working on my public speaking and being more comfortable talking in front of the camera so yeah and I'm sorry for the ads but but rejected is a beautiful thing because as Katy Perry once said in her song Smile I Believe, rejection is God's protection so maybe getting rejected isn't always a bad thing because maybe there's or at least I hope there's something good out there for both me and you. And you deserve someone to treat you right. But for now, instead of calling it Valentine's Day, call it what it is, Rejected Day. And I hope you had a wonderful one. Whether it was with your best friends or with your lover or anyone like that. And being about lover, I'm wearing the lover Taylor shirt. Yeah, Swifty. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoy this video and and take care of yourself and know to love yourself and happy rejected day.